Stone Drums, a river meditation for Dave Brubeck. Water, everything, every living thing is hardwired to the sound of water, flowing water. From the trickling of melting glaciers to the thundering of Niagara Falls, we're all drawn, all thirst toward its damp promise. Be it pool, puddle, or brook, we wouldn't exist without water. It seems obvious we invented music listening to rivers and streams. The pouring rain, dripping eaves. Observing nature's changing hypnotic ways. Our preoccupations with weather lapping waves, the howling wind, campfire embers, and licking flames. Always, we're tuned to snapping sounds, screech scratchings out of sight, day or night. Those ongoing symphonies of survival we recognize. Each time is like Archetypal water drums a baseline gravitational call to ride the A train. Thump blooping like Brubeck inside our veins, calling us back to Duke's blues. A black eyed piano C, Kodo's song, softly killing that blue misconception. Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons claim. Silence is gold. Complete silence is death. Dry, waterless death. The sound of water sings us home, wet, to our first best place, the amniotic bath, sloshing bones, dreaming skin, swallow and swim. Stoneflies crawl for muddy miles deep underground, following the percussive sound of erosion, water over gravel and sand. Tumbling boulders tearing at the landscape, uprooting trees, floating sticks, leaves, fallen debris. Scouring and pounding, these stream bed vibrations shake nymphs to rise and dance. Make seed, then feed whitewater trout, anxiously awaiting the feast of flies. When the runoff is done and cloudy creek currents settle clear as glass, riffles rattling into a clattering roll. The stream song invitations, those skeleton husks littering the shore, announce like, it's a boy, cigars. Dinner has taken away. Trout feed fat in eddies then, when stone flies flit above the spray of that deafening breathy sh- Fast water racing across rocky ground. Straight water pushing toward ocean and sky, creating a rhythm reminiscent of Lionel Hampton's vibe. Or maybe Mingus plucking out liquidy hollow tones. Ebbs and flows. Rivers drifting souls. Splashing fishes. If water were a stage, some musical metaphor praising the stonefly's swan song, we'd see it feeding a flash of rainbow tail, clenched tight in cutthroat's jaws, now stiffening in the bottom of a creel. That fisherman might wash blood from his hands, finger the soft bones, Wings buzzing his ears as he watches a dipper hopping stone to stone. Inhaling it all, the river's melody, tympanic meditations on a dream.